first, it's a welterweight bout between Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz. Out to 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, Nate Diaz, one of the biggest superstars in all of mixed martial arts. It's amazing to think where he could have taken his star power if he was in a regular cycle competing yes. every three months. Yes, if he fought as regularly as most guys, his star power would, would be even bigger. But Nate Diaz moves at his own pace. A phenomenal striker and a great jiu-jitsu tacticianer. You fall into Nate Diaz's guard, you will get submitted as he's shown. On a number of occasions, a fantastic fighter. Welcome back, Nate Diaz. You're not going to out-cardio these Diaz brothers. You're not going to out-tough Nate Diaz. And once again, he is facing top competition here tonight. We'll see how it goes for Nate Diaz here in his UFC return. Well, if you're just getting into fighting and you're looking for a fighter to support, you can do worse than Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Really a guy who's easy to root for and coming off some of the biggest wins of his career recently. He is starting to get everything right. For as long as Jorge Masvidal has been in this game, you always had the feeling that there was still work to be done in order to truly reach his optimal form. I feel like now he's finally getting it. And people overlook the fighter's mentality of Jorge Masvidal. We talk about Kimball Slice, the back there fighter, but Jorge Masvidal was right next to him. Right. He was back there fighting just for the sake of fighting. And he has done that in the octagon, and now he's finally putting it all together as he tries to make his way to a UFC title fight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Both fighters are 35 years old. Diaz is one inch taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 21 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nick Diaz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Well, Nate Diaz has been in there with some of the best lightweights and welterweights on the planet. Tonight, trying to register another big win. Figures to have the boxing advantage. You know he has the reach advantage. We'll see how Nate Diaz approaches the early portions of this fight. Ooh, what a punch. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. 
Masvidal gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. There's another one. Archer, there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground. And he, oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's a tech armbar now. of a submission. How about that? He's like, you go here, <laughs> my arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. I see that. Flush right hand is true. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Diaz. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Back to the feet now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Nice right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch to the body. Straight right, he misses. Nice punch there by Gainbrick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one. All right, he gets the takedown here. Now we'll see what he can do. Let's see if he can secure top position after working so hard for that takedown. All right, so he's got his head here looking to set up the guillotine choke now. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, look at this, jumps over into side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flew choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, right in the side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Diaz's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. 35 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Under a minute to go. Nice strike. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC run. Nice entry there to get the takedown. Good wrestling by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Nice one there. Nice one, two there. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. He might get a finish here. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure 
that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, you see. No, <laughs> all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. Well, he has stayed busy, and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. was phenomenal, Nate. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Double leg takedown is true. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Diaz. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so the unofficial fight numbers thus far, 80 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. And in terms of the efficiency, landing with 57% accuracy against Jorge Masvidal. Big punch from the clinch. Diaz's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. See if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. All right, so just like we saw in round one, really starting to get that hook going here in round two, as Adam Sandler might say in Happy Gilmore. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Block for him. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Game Greg gets the tie clinch here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, oh he got him real good, too. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Game Greg gets caught with that punch. Take down attempt late, and it's good. What? Great takedown defense by Masvidal. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another take. Oh, he's attacking Choke now. Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. Round three next. 
All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. There's a lot of blood. Cut you open good. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got into the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. It's not always going to be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you've got to change things together if you want to take down a great fighter. And we know how hard it is to maintain the wrestling, right? The hours required in the gym to make sure that wrestling is still at a high level. He's putting in the time. Yes, he's putting in the time. And also, you see it in his movement. When he gets to an attack, he's constantly shifting positions. He's constantly moving his opponent. He's constantly trying to give him too much information to process. Right. And that... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Knee to the body. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, straight right. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting him. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change it. Wow, actually got the takedown. All right, so there it is again, much like he did in the previous round, able to land that hook really at will. Over and over and over and over, he is landing that very same punch, whether it's to the body or to the head. He just does a fantastic job of finding the hook. Nice punch, man. And able to land a nice shot there on the inside. So the stat numbers continuing to pile up. 144 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. And still on the right side at 50%, the land rate 51% here against Jorge Moscovitz. Big power shot there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Now connects with a right. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Diaz gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, single collar tie now. The cardio you must have in order to secure this mini takedown. Gets up again here, but hurt him. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Trying to stay in this fight! Transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Lance a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Diaz. A lot of top pressure being applied here. 
Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, shot to the body, connects. Oh! He's a Back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. What a punch. Gamebred gets in the clinch yet again. Back and forth we go! That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Game Craig goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Great punch landing. So much power. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Right hand there. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Back to the feet now. Well, back in the day, he was brawling in backyards in the 305 alongside Kimbo Slice. Now he's one of the biggest superstars in the UFC and showing that he's still got plenty of work to do. I mean, he's got plenty of work to do and he has the swagger, a Miami swagger that will allow him to capture the mind and the imagination of the entire world. Masvidal is now a bona fide star. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. Some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. You got it! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Oh, right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Jorge Gamebred Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping.